Rahul Sankradiyan, the 9th of April 1893 to the 14th of April 1963, is called the father of Hindi travelogue travel literature. He is the one who played a pivotal role to give travelogue a literature form, was one of the most widely traveled scholars of India, spending 45 years of his life on travels away from his home. He traveled to many places and wrote many travelogue approximately in the same ratio. He is also famously known for his authentic description about his travels experiences, for instance in his travelogue, Mary Ladakh Yatra. He presents overall regional, historical and cultural specificity of that region judiciously. He became a Buddhist monk Buddha Bhikkhu, and eventually took up Marxist socialism. Sankratiyan was also an Indian nationalist, having been arrested and jailed for three years for creating anti-British writings and speeches. He is referred to as the greatest scholar Mahapandit for his scholarship. He was both a polymath as well as a polyglot. The government of India awarded him the civilian honour of the Padma Bhushan in 1963. Childhood He was born as Kedarnath Pandi in a poor Bumahar Brahmin family on 9 April 1893 in Pandaha village, Azamgarh district, in eastern Uttar Pradesh. He received formal schooling at a local primary school, though he later studied and mastered numerous languages independently, as well as the art of photography. Philosophy of his life In his initial days he was a keen follower of Arya Samaj of Swami Dayananda Saraswati. Buddhism came to him and changed his life. He lost faith in God's existence but still retained faith in reincarnation. Later he moved towards Marxist socialism and rejected the concepts of reincarnation and afterlife also. The two volumes of Darshan Digdarshan, the collected history of world's philosophy give an indication of his philosophy when we find the second volume much dedicated to Dharmakirti's Pramana Vartika. This he discovered in Tibetan translation from Tibet. Travels <laughs> 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 Sankrityayan's travels took him to different parts of India including Ladakh, Kinnor, and Kashmir. He also travelled to several other countries including Nepal, Tibet, Sri Lanka, Iran, China, and the former Soviet Union. He spent several years in the Parsa Gadh village in the Saran district in Bihar. The village's entry gate is named Rahul Gate. While travelling, he mostly used surface transport, and he went to certain countries clandestinely. He entered Tibet as a Buddhist monk. He made several trips to Tibet and brought valuable paintings and Pali and Sanskrit manuscripts back to India. Most of these were a part of the libraries of Vikramshila and Nalanda universities. These objects had been taken to Tibet by fleeing Buddhist monks during the 12th and subsequent centuries when the invading Muslim armies had destroyed universities in India. Some accounts state that Rahul Sankradiyan employed 22 mules to bring these materials from Tibet to India. Patna Museum, Patna, has a special section of these materials in his honour, where a number of these and other items have been displayed. <laughs> <laughs> Books Sankratiyan was a polyglot, well versed in several languages and dialects, including Hindi, Sanskrit, Pali, Bhojpuri, Urdu, Persian, Arabic, Tamil, Kannada, Tibetan, Sinhalese, French and Russian. He was also an Indologist, a Marxist theoretician, and a creative writer. He started writing during his twenties and his works, totaling well over 100, covered a variety of subjects, including sociology, history, philosophy, Buddhism, Tibetology, lexicography, grammar, textual editing, folklore, science, drama, and politics. Many of these were unpublished. He translated Majima Nikaya from Prakrit into Hindi. One of his most famous books in Hindi is Volga Se Ganga, a journey from the Volga to the Ganges, a work of historical fiction concerning the migration of Aryans from the steppes of the Eurasia to regions around the Volga River, then their movements across the Hindukish and the Himalayas and the sub-Himalayan regions, and their spread to the Indo-Gangetic plains of the subcontinent of India. The book begins in 6000 BC and ends in 1942, the year when Mahatma Gandhi, the Indian nationalist leader, called for the Quit India movement. It was published in 1942. 
A translation into English of this work by Victor Kiernan was published in 1947 as From Volga to Ganga. It was translated by K. N. Muthia Tamil Puthakalayam in Tamil as Valgavil Irundu Ganjai Varai and is still considered a bestseller. The Kannada translation done by B. N. Sharma as Volga Ganga. The Telugu translation Volga Nunchi Ganga Ku inspired many readers. Volga Muthal Ganga Ver, the Malayalam translation, became immensely popular among the young intellectuals of Kerala and it continues to be one of the most influential books of its times. The Bengali version is Volga Teke Ganga, Balga Teke Ganga which is still acclaimed by the critics. His most important travelogue literature is, Tibatmi Sava Varsha Mary Europe Yatra 1935. Athato Gumakad Jigyasa. Volga Se Ganga. Quote, comma, quote. Asia K. Durgam Bukhando Mine. Quote, comma, quote. Yatra K. Pan. And. Kinner Desh Mine. More than ten of his books have been translated and published in Bengali. Mahapandit was awarded the Padmabhushan in 1963, and he received the Sahitya Akademi Award in 1958 for his book Madhya Asia Ka Itahas. He maintained daily diaries in Sanskrit which were used fully while writing his autobiography. In spite of profound scholarship, he wrote in very simple Hindi that a common person could follow. He wrote books of varied interest. He was aware of limitations of Hindi literature and singularly made up the loss in no small measure. The historian Kashi Prasad Jayaswal compared Rahul Sankratiyan with Buddha. Rahul's personality was as impressive and memorable as are his achievements. He travelled widely and wrote in five languages, Hindi, Sanskrit, Bhojpuri, Pali and Tibetan. His published works span a range of genres, which include autobiography, biography, travelogue, sociology, history, philosophy, Buddhism, Tibetology, lexicography, grammar, text editing, folklore, science, fiction, drama, essays, politics, and pamphleteering. <laughs> Soviet Union Although he had little formal education, in view of his knowledge and command over the subject, University of Leningrad appointed him Professor of Indology in 1937-38 and again in 1947-48. Contributions <inaudible> 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 Many of Rahul's personal collections including the ones he gathered from his multiple trips to Tibet were distributed across to multiple universities and museums. Patna Museum has an extensive collection of Buddhist scrolls which he assimilated through his journeys across Tibet. Many of these are rare gems of Indian scriptures translated into Tibetan. Topic: <laughs> Personal life and family. Rahul was married when very young and never came to know anything of his child wife, Santoshi. Probably he saw her only once in his forties as per his autobiography, Mary Jivan Yatra. During his stay in Soviet Russia a second time, accepting an invitation for teaching Buddhism at Leningrad University, he came in contact with a Mongolian scholar Lola Elena Narvartovna Kozarovskaya. She could speak French, English, and Russian and write Sanskrit. She helped him in working on Tibetan Sanskrit dictionary. Their attachment ended in marriage and birth of son Igor. Mother and son were not allowed to accompany Rahul to India after completion of his assignment. It was Stalin's Russia. Late in life, he married Dr. Kamala, an Indian Nepali lady and had a daughter Jaya, two sons Yeda and Jayant. Death. Rahul accepted a teaching job at a Sri Lankan university, where he fell seriously ill. Diabetes, high blood pressure and a mild stroke struck him. Most tragic happening was the loss of memory. He breathed his last in Darjeeling in 1963. His last residence at Darjeeling was at 21 Kacheri Road, Rahul Nevis. <laughs> Awards. Topic Works
Topic in Hindi. Novels: Baiswin Sadi 1923, Jeanie K. Lie 1940, Simha Senapati 1944, J. Yadhaya 1944, Bago Nahin, Dunia Ko Badlo 1944, Madhur Swapna 1949, Rajasthani Ranivas 1953, Vizamrit Yatri 1954, Devodas 1960 Vizamriti K. Garb Meshort Stories Satmi K. Butch 1935 Volga Se Ganga 1944 Bahurangi Matapuri 1953 Kanila Ki Katha 1955 56 Autobiography Mary Jivan Yatra I 1944 Mary Jivan Yatra II 1950 Mary Jivan Yatra III, IV, V, published posthumously biography Sardar Prithvi Singh 1955 Ne Bharat K Ne Neta 2 volumes 1942 Bakpan Ki Smritian 1953 Adit Se Vardaman volume 1 1953 Stalin 1954 Lenin 1954 Karl Marx 1954 Mao Zedong 1954 Gumakar Swami 1956 Mir Asahayag K Sathi 1956 Jinka Main Kritina 1956 Veer Chandrasinghe Garwali 1956 Simhala Gumakar Jayvardhan 1960 Captain Lal 1961 Simhal K Veer Puresh 1961 Mahamanav Buddha 1956 Some of his other books are Mansik Gulami Rivedic Arya Gumakar Shastra Kinnar Desh Mine Darshan Digdarshan Dakini Hindi Ka Vyakaran Parat ATV Nibandawali Maneva Samaj Madhya Asia Ka Idiyas Samyavad Hai Kian In Bhojpuri Teen Natak 1942 Panch Natak 1942 In Nepali translation Buddhadharma Darshan 1984 Related to Tibetan Tibati Bal Sichan 1933 Pathavali volume 1 2 and 3 1933 Tibati Vyakaran Tibetan grammar 1933 Tibat may budh dharm 1948 Lhasa ki or Himalaya pariche bhag 1 Himalaya pariche bhag 2 Topic See also Hindi literature